Hello, this is this Tony here, girl. It's been quite some time. Um, I got a stupid neurologist. Um, she doesn't think that I have generalized dystonia. And so, um, you know, I've been diagnosed as I was like in my early 20s. And it started out in my neck. And yeah, my neck tremors more than anything but it goes down into my hands into my legs my legs cramp up my toes turn in but she wants me to try to video this because she doesn't believe me now for the people that have dystonia you know how hard it is to actually try to get a full view of a tremor or like something cramping up like because Basically, when you're in a dystonic storm or a flare-up, you're in so much pain, you can't get it. You can't get it when your foot is turned in. And you can't get it when you drop something or when you poke your eyeball out trying to put makeup on. Or when you flung something across the room because your arm jerked. It's kind of hard to do that. And... I'm advocating for myself because this is what dystonic patients go through. They they get run around. Oh, well, you look nice today. You put some weight on. Well, that's because I fight like hell every day. I lost my swallow two years in a row. It takes everything in me to keep any weight on me at all, which is a blessing. Yes. But it's a fight, it's a daily fight, and not every day when you're tremoring constantly, you burn through more calories. So therefore you have to take in more calories. And if you have swallowing problems and your G-tube is not an option because it failed, then guess what? You got to do what you have to do, and it's hard work. And I get migraines. Doctors nowadays are idiots just straight up idiots okay just straight across the board you know what has been my most stressor in this year two years doctors being idiots trying to just screw with me withhold my meds do all kinds of screwed up things i end up in the er i'm constantly in and out of specialist office during COVID season and yeah I'm not trauming as bad as I you know what if I if I was faking it I could turn the tremors on and turn them off just like that they hit when they hit people need to understand doctors need to understand invisible illnesses there is no panel of dystonia that you can say oh she has dystonia unless it's hereditary and if it's not hereditary it doesn't mean anything what do you want me to do go in there shaking tremoring and doing all kinds of weird crap i don't need to do that it happens on the daily now i'm on here am i tremoring like a fool no but, and I, excuse me for saying fool and tremoring because it is serious and it's a hit to your self-esteem. No, I can't get a job. I can't even hold a phone. My voice is shot because I lost my swallow two, de two, two years in a row. I'm blessed and thankful I can eat. I just had to get an x-ray because I choked on a piece of food and had to pull it out and I thought I had aspiration pneumonia again. I can't even walk down like half a block without my legs like, you know, feeling like, like Charlie horses. But oh, I'm sorry, I can't get that on video. Maybe if you reach down like my other dystonia doctors did and feel how tight my muscles are in my legs, Maybe you would have a clue, Dr. Mortavinia, that, um, yeah, it's in my legs, it's in my arms. Feel my leg mu muscles. They feel like rocks. You know why? Because I have dystonia and my legs 
never ever quit they stay like that it's like a constant charlie horse in my leg it's like a walking it's horrible my balance is horrible she knows that oh well patient it is it, balance is not good and but well duh you dumb mm. i'm telling you doctors will drive you nuts too like doctors need to be made aware of how they approach patients they need to learn something because let me tell you this is no walk in the park okay i would much rather work if i could i am sick day daily daily i can't even shave my legs oh i'll put that on here next time me trying to shave my legs next time i'll put a video up about when i'm trying to put on my makeup how many times i tremor and poke my eyes how many times it takes me to try to study my hand and stuff to try to get anything done i can't even do the dishes half the time don't tell me some of these doctors need to walk in our shoes and before they should be able to practice dystonia and and neurological disorders not everybody is going to present the same way that's why i don't judge other dystonic patients because we all present different ways different times different places so if you're gonna judge somebody on your two minutes you spend every six minutes in my appointment on what i live with on the daily and then i can find the video in. and so it says well patient claims she has a video well guess what when i go in six months she's gonna have so much video to look at she ain't gonna know what to do she'll be in that room a half hour looking at all of it because i'm gonna on the daily start recording when i'm tremoring really bad when i'm having a really bad day god forbid i get a break for a day or a half a day or a couple hours and i can literally relax oh no then you're just awesome you're lying screw that screw doctors okay i am so sick of doctors judging me judging other dystonic patients because i know i am not the only one that fights with doctors to get them to believe that the pain is so ungodly real they would not be able to take it for five minutes let alone on the daily for years on end they would not be able to do it so I'm just on here and this is a straight off rant it is because I'm blessed I have gained some weight but you know what I work my butt off every pound of the way and I have to fight every day it is not easy and so for the people that want to judge me judge me but you know what you better watch who you judge because it will come back around and you will feel somebody's pain sometimes if you judge someone for a pain you do not know and you do not show compassion you're walking a very thin line that you don't want to walk because there's sometimes in life you will be taught lessons to get your attention and doctors need to learn some compassion, some bedside manner, and quit being idiots. That is all.